Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Capricorn for the month of February 2023. Sounds like you pushed someone away a long time ago. Someone you pushed away and that person, um, they don't get it. Or they don't want to leave you alone or they want to keep coming to you. And you are frustrated about this actual person. It's kind of like you try to uh, look into yourself, move on from uh, any issue or problem. But uh, it feels to you that this person doesn't get it. I keep getting the same statement, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, what I'm getting here also that, you know, you have really someone that you care for the most and you feel great about that actual person in your life that you get them back or maybe you were separated before and you get them back. And that's another person that you are with. Uh, you could be a husband, a wife to that person. And you feel like, you know, that, oh, wow, I feel great about myself at this time. Or it could be like, you know, a committed relationship. And, but you are afraid. You have fear. You have fear that this relationship is going to be destroyed between you and this in individual that you care about a lot. This person, like, you know, they have, they, their personality is a complex. Like, uh, they get afraid of too many things not afraid no i pulled that back their personality is complicated like you know they can be really like you know, on and off good and bad like you know in a way that you know they can fight with you suddenly and tell you you know here's the door or they can be really uh just smooth and nice and sweet with you um, their mentality is different than yours. Like, you know, they can be really having their own mind. That doesn't mean that you are less. No, it means that they think about something, like, you know, differently. You think about things. You are a very smart individual also, but in the same time, they have really a different outlook for that world. They feel great about you both, but uh, I, about, you know, the relationship. This person, like, you know, he or she, the one you are with, but they don't really know if you are really having someone or not. Sometimes there is something that makes them upset momentarily that why I'm here, why I'm in this relationship with you. They point their finger on things, it's kind of like, well, am I supposed to be really with you, like you know, helping you the whole time, doing everything, like you know, the whole time, doing this and that. Um, it feels like what if I just walk away and shut the door? But suddenly they just realize that they love you. They care for you a lot. So they are undecided back and forth to move along and look for someone else. They correct themselves at the end. They become moody, like, you know, just they have that mood swing. The fear that they have really very much is if they continue with you and find out that you are dealing with someone else, that will be really a hit on the head because they don't want to deal with the situation at all. Other than that, you love this person. You feel great that you are with this person. You feel like you're blessed. And this person also feel blessed about you too. You could be really someone who's married, but in the same time, you feel like you know, that you are do not doing much. Why not? You are doing much. You know, Capricorn always doing much. No matter what, they come out of their way to do like you know, things differently. It says here, sometimes you assume things. You rush or jump into conclusions. You feel like you know, that this person is going to leave you. 
um, is going to push you out of the door. They want to do something like you know, really bad. They want to separate from you or divorce you if you are married. But it says here, this is jumping into conclusions. They jump into conclusions too, the person you are with. Like, you know, but they keep talking and talking and talking and talking about someone that you dealt with before. Sounds like you, know, you and your spouse or the person that you are with at this time currently, like, you know, in a committed relationship, separated in the past. And it feels like, you know, that there was someone you dealt with upon, like, you know, when you were separated. You came back to each other and your person, the one you are with, keep talking about the other person that you dealt with. Keep like, you know, really saying things like, you know, oh, that person is after you or coming after you or uh, they are doing this or I feel their energy or I cannot really feel really good, something about it. You, you feel like, you know, that, okay, uh, well, you know, I dealt with this person when I was free, when you pushed me out, when you kicked me out, that's you. You know, you feel like, you know, that I didn't, I didn't cheat on you or do something. I was really out of this relationship completely when I dealt with. Am I being punished for the rest of the century? Like, you know, that you keep really mentioning this person. They just worry sometimes that they are doing, the person that you are with, that they are doing a lot and manage to do really so much. I'm picking on a Gemini person and that is really two Geminis. You could be with the Gemini and there is another Gemini which is the X like you know that we are really talking about. But it's not necessarily that sign only, only. because I see a Taurus also and I see a Sagittarius. This person like to feel that I am willing to let you go, the person that you are with, if I find out something that you are doing behind my back. First of all, they have that rule or that thought that they don't need you. They rely on themselves, they work hard for something, they are doing like no much for themselves and they feel like you know, that you are not needed. They can rely on you emotionally sometimes, co-independently, but to them, to this person, it's not good enough. They want you to be really supplying maybe materially or more than that, more than they give. And you feel like you know, that Maybe I cannot really give like you give or the way to work like they work with you. Um, th this person that you are with is strong enough. They are not really a weak person at all, but they have some fears. They have some fears of blocking their life, that you are the person who's blocking their, uh, their road or their freedom or their path and they don't know what to do, but yet they keep continuing with you, with you because they feel like you know, deep inside their heart, this is the right relationship in the right timing. There is nothing can be done about it because they haven't seen anything bad coming from you. They have their own suspicions, but that's all about it. Yep, like I said, this person is doing things alone by themselves. They still feel like, you know, that you dealt with another person before, like we said, like, you know, that it could be really another air sign. But in the same time, they feel like, you know, so much really negative about it here that this person, like, you know, can be controlling and trying to really mess with their energy or maybe doing some magic uh, spells. Uh, it's not necessary magic or spells like, you know, it could be like, you know, their negative energy really directed at her or them, like, you know, the person you're with from your ex and they don't know what to do. You kind of like, you know, get confused sometimes emotionally and me mentally about the whole thing, but 
you keep seeing yourself that you are getting along with the person you are with at this time and you feel like you know, this is the right combination, this person is your soulmate and uh, you love them, you love your person, the, way, the one you are with uh, at this time, like you know, really very much. You don't want to be taken off or saying that I need to walk away. But sometimes this person, the one you are with, get on your nerve and make you really devastated, upset, frustrated with the things because for some reason, you don't see things eye to eye, you know. The person you are with, clear things for you, very simple, very easy to really get to you, to tell you like you know, exactly the way it is, but you take it wrongly sometimes or in a different way that cause some arguments or frustration. And you feel like you know, that maybe you are being misunderstood, but the other person is being misunderstood the whole time. They, the person you are with mean very well for you. They don't have any really wishy-washy or bad intentions at all. But they want you to be really so open, upfront on things, like not to hide things, not to pretend. And so their life will go on very smooth and easy and nice. It sounds like the person you are with learned a lot from their ex that kept them being unhappy all of the time and they want really to find themselves with you. They see a lot of good things in you also. You are very helpful to them and you are there. Like, you know, you just get there. You come out of your way and you want really to help this person. Even you feel like you are not doing much to meet this person halfway, actually you do. You do a lot. You do a lot that this person is not thinking about. Like you know, maybe they think about financial more because they do the financial mostly. But you do a lot of things to help that person, like you know, their needs, whatever they need, you are always there. But it sounds like you know, that your person is really upset and devastated because the situation financially is not really changing or getting anywhere because they are the one who's really still paying the bills and that's what's making them really very upset it's kind of like they are upset with the with with their routine their life the way their life is set it's not with you personally completely personally but they were hoping that you meet them with that road other than that life is going to keep on going and continue and it's going to be really very nice um, physically, this person also, like, you know, that they want more than you provide in bed. I'm sorry to say that, but <laughs> this is what I got. Best of luck for you, dear uh, Capricorn. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. And uh, the link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziza.com. If you look under the video, I write my website. The business hours also on my website, my phone number on my website. After you click on reading prices, purchase your reading, then give me a call. And the phone number again is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.